YouTube, down to Bricks here, and I'm back with another Last Jedi Star Wars review. Today we're having a look at set 75200 Act 2 Island Training, has 241 pieces. Of course, this is a 2018 release, we've got a little bit early, and we do get three minifigs. If you're going to pay full retail for this, you're going to pay 30 US dollars, 30 euro, 26 pound, or 45 Australian. We might actually change things up a little bit. We'll start with looking at the hut. We'll go on to the minifigures, and we'll wrap the whole thing up with my final thoughts. So let's get cracking. Before we start, there is the sticker sheet for this set. So there's supposed to be a few stickers on the hut, just for a little bit of added detail. I think it looks good without it. We have a little outdoor area here, the little fireplace. Look at our Porg, you can put him around all sorts of places. A little perch back here, we can get him nesting up on there. That's pretty cool. Up on top, there's a little hole in here. I'll show you that a little bit more later, but I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with it. The only thing I can think of is you sit Luke up there and he can look down on Ray while she's training and here is a play feature so you've got Ray here with her lightsaber put a staff down here too that'll keep it in place and she you can spin her around and there goes the rock chop that in half got a crystal inside don't really know why that's in there certainly not from the movie and that rock goes in there like that now that's the only other thing if we take Luke off the top let's put him over here you can put the rock in there. Kind of looks a little bit funny. So, not really sure, but there is that. We have our cloth doorway here. The material, it's that soft material. So that's pretty cool to get that piece. I like the shape to it. It's all pretty good. Bits of detail all over the place. I like that. Take a look around to the side. Do get another little play feature here. We've got this little knob here, and if you just push that, you can knock this rock piece out. So, a little bit of fun there. Not a lot of play features. You can remove the roof, and all the action is on the inside of the hut itself. So, let's take a look in here. So, they've crammed quite a bit in here. Excuse me. A little bit under the weather, I'm a little bit blocked up, so forgive me for that. So, lots of bits of detail here. We've got our bit of a bowl here and a few bits and pieces. Collapsible bed, so you can have a little lay down. So, it's all very basic. Of course, we do get a fish, because there's nothing like a big Act 2 fish to munch on, so that's pretty cool. And we do get our cup here as well because we know how much Luke loves his milk and a little lantern a little lamp there and you can pull this bit off here and if I just unclip it get some berries so a little stash of berries so I bet you didn't know that was there <laughs> and I just put that on so like I said not a whole lot but there's some very nice detail just inside the hut and overall, I think it's pretty cool. Put the lid back on, put our boulder back on, and that is about it for the hut on the Actu Island training. First up, we're gonna have a look at our Porgy Porg. Now have a look at the face on this. How cute are these Porgs? It was great seeing them in the movie, did enjoy that. And I've gotta say, I'm thrilled that they've chucked one in the set here, so it's now available for everybody to pick one up at a reasonable price compared to the UCS Millennium Falcon, which was the only way you could get them before. I do think we're probably going to see more of these in the future though, but very cool little minifig to get. And now on to Ray. I did just want to first show off the accessories we get. Of course, we do get Luke's lightsaber, so you can put it with Ray or Luke, and she does come with her staff as well. And now with Ray, we do get a bit of a toned down printing on Ray here, more in her training gear. She does have 
her original hair piece as well. Very cool hair piece that it is, but very nice printing as well. I've got to say, all round, pretty cool with this minifigure. Some nice printing on the back, and we do get the Angry Ray face print. And now, without a doubt, the highlight of this whole set is Old Man Luke, and this is a fantastic looking Lego minifigure. Now, is it exactly accurate? Oh, I've got to say, no, it's not really, but overall, I've got to say, I'm very happy. I do think it looks very cool. The road printing is very nice. I mean, I really think it probably should have been a bit more grey through his outfit and his hair and face and everything, but I really do think he looks cool. Look at that face print, very nice. We get a little bit of gray on there, on, on the goatee there, on the beard. There's a little bit of gray in there. And the hair piece, have a look at this hair piece. That is very, very nice. Some flowing locks of Luke. And we do get the soft cape. It's a little bit different style, this cape to usual. But overall, it's just a great looking minifigure. Of course, we do get an alternate face print as well, the more serious look. And to finish up, we do get some very nice rear torso print as well. So there we have it, Act 2 Island Training. I usually have some concerns with trying to recreate a scene from a movie in such a small set. And I've got to say, with this small amount of pieces, 241 pieces, I actually think LEGO did a really good job. All up, there's not a lot of play features with this set, so the young ones are really just going to have to use their imagination on being on Act 2 Island. It's a major part of the movie, so it was great to see LEGO put this set out. And overall, I'm really happy with it. I think it would look good on display as well. And easily for me, the best thing about it is finally getting Old Man Luke. I think that's a great minifigure. As in my last review, I do think that it's a little bit expensive for what we're getting. So I do suggest holding off until you can get it on special. Try and pick one up for 20% off. I think then you're getting a pretty good deal. I know people definitely want to get that Luke. So can you hold out? I don't know, I couldn't, I went ahead and grabbed it. So again, putting the price aside, I have to give this set a thumbs up, I thought it was a lot of fun. There's not heaps to it, but I did enjoy putting it together. So that's my thoughts, what do you think of the hut, what do you think of the pork, and how good is the old man Luke? Let me know in the comments, love hearing from you guys. Don't be shy, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you did enjoy these early week reviews. A big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.